Hi, I'm Macavenda from Macavenda.com, and today we're going to show you how to make a process flow chart in Photoshop. All right, well, what we need for this is Photoshop. So here I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop CS4. We're going to make a new file. Go up to File, hit New. We're going to just pick a size that works for us and say, we'll say, a thousand pixels and 750 pixels. Click OK. All right, now that we have that open, we're going to make a basic shape for the process flow. Uh, the, the basic shape that we're going to use in a number of different spots showing the process working our way through. And so we're going to go ahead and grab the, the uh, polygonal uh, lasso tool here up in the top left. And then we're going to go back in here. All right. If you hold down shift, you can make straight lines with it. So make an arrow here. And make another straight line. All right, there's one shape. And so we'll go over here and we're going to make this one um, a dark blue. Click OK, and then you go to the paint bucket, and you fill that in. And you hit M, and then click to, to take away that selection. And then we're going to make a shape underneath it. So we're going to grab the polygon. We're going to do it so it lines up with this one. So. Kind of doing this by eye, which is fine because once we make these two shapes, we'll be able to copy and paste them, and uh, and then we'll have our basic process flowchart. See, I have a little overlap there, but that'll be easily fixed once we get to it. So we're going to use the same color blue, and we're going to fill that in. And then you're going to hit M and cancel out. And what we'll do is we'll grab the eraser to erase that part that we don't want. And so you go over here to the zoom, which is this little magnifying glass here. And you can zoom in on this part. And then there's the eraser right here with this arrow pointing down. Or I'm sorry, it's underneath that. It's right here. Looks like an actual eraser. And then you go in here and you and just erase away what we don't want. There we go. All right, go back up here to the select, and you can hit Windows Zero, and that'll fill the page with your thing, with your your shape again. And then you have the auto select up here already all set. Now that we have the shape the way we want it, we will take the shape and we will duplicate it. So we're going to go over here to layer one and we're going to select it and then we're going to duplicate it. So we're going to right click on it and then we're going to duplicate layer. A little dialog box comes up and you're going to click OK. And we're going to do that two more times. So right click on that and then we're going to duplicate layer. We're going to click OK. And then we're going to right click on it one more time. And we're going to duplicate layer. Okay, and so now the top one is the last one we duplicated, so we're going to move that over. And now we're going to select all of them, select all four layers. And then when you've got all four selected, you can go up here, and in the layer, but you see the different alignments you can do. And right here, you want to select the distribute uh, horizontal centers. And when you click that, all four of them line up like this. They're going to overlap a little bit and so we need to make the arrows so that they uh, so that they line up next to each other but that they also can cross over each other. Uh, we're going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. So go about right there, eye it, and it should be good. And down. And then 
do that. And then since we've got it selected over here, you're just going to delete it. And this is Matt Govenda from MattGovenda.com, and that's how you make a process flow chart in Photoshop.